conocerte y darte de mi piel En mi brazo tenerte, entregarme a tu vaivén Guys, it's Sheila Shimmers. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, I'm really excited that you found this video and that you're watching it. So I really appreciate it if you subscribe below and like this video. Today I'm bringing you this very bold eyeliner look with some glitter on it, and I was just kind of feeling this vibe. I've been kind of getting into this very bold eyeliners. I don't know if you have noticed that. So I've been kind of getting tired of doing the same look. So I was like, you know what? Why not? Let's do something fun today. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. One last thing before I get into the tutorial, I am actually doing a giveaway on my Instagram. If you want to check it out I'm gonna be giving away a soft glam um, eyeshadow palette by Anastasia my Instagram is gonna be linked down below it's just Sheila Shimmers on Instagram if you want to check it out so if you're interested in entering just look for the post that says Anastasia and this giveaway on it without further ado let's just go ahead and get started the first thing I'm gonna be putting on is this Fenty Beauty primer I was actually loving this during the winter so I just reached for it today and I'm gonna see how it works once it's like a little bit warm out so now our face is primed so we can move on to foundation and I'm also going to be using Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and this is in the shade um, 260. So for this I'm going to be using this brush just because I think it makes it a little bit faster and I'm putting one pump. What I do is put on my eyebrows but I have no idea what just went ahead and did my foundation so... <laughs> We're just gonna roll with it. So foundation is on. I'm gonna be wanting to do my eyes like I should have from the beginning. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using this deep brow from Made in the shade Chocolate from Anastasia. So for my eyeshadow base, I'm gonna be using this P. Louise in the shade Rumor 02, and I'm gonna be cleaning out my brows also with this. I'm gonna put this on my hand just to warm it up. And then I'm going to be using this Makeup Geek um, stippling brush and I'm just going to blend that out. For concealer, I'm going to be using this Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and this is in the shade Medium Light Warm. This one is basically like the shade of my skin tone so I like it because when I don't want to go too too light I can just pop this on. I'm not going to set the Fenty Beauty foundation, but I am going to set that Urban Decay concealer. So for this, I'm going to be using this LA Pro powder in the shade Banana. I'm actually trying this for the first time, so we're going to see how this works. It's like a very thick consistency from what I can see. I don't know if you can see that. Since I have dry skin, I'm going to take this off just quickly, just to prevent my skin from getting too dry. The next thing I'm doing is going into my soft glam. Um, eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be digging into the shade Burnt Orange right here. I'm going to be applying this as my crease shade. The next thing I'm doing is my eyeliner. I'm going to be using this Sigma Black Eyeliner in the shade Wicked. We're going to see if I'm awake enough to do a wing liner. Next, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Glitter Glue. I'm also going to be using this Bulk Glitter Black um, Beauty Beauty Jar. This is just black glitter. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this Too Faced Glitter Glue. I'm going to be taking this glitter glue and applying it on my wing liner and then quickly I'm just going to go in with this black glitter and just apply it over top. Another reason why I wasn't smart to do my face is because it's all falling on my foundation. Going back to the Anastasia Self Glam Eyeshadow Palette, I'm going to go into the shade Sienna. And I'm putting this under my eyes. I'm going to be taking this uh, Sigma E30 just to blend that out a little further down. Then I'm going to be going into the shade Noir 
and I put in this on the outer corner. Alright, so now I'm going back to the face. I know I've been doing this whole video a mess, but please bear with me. Bronzer, I'm going to be using this Anastasia bronzer in the shape Saddle. I'm going to be taking a smaller brush for my nose. This one is the Spectrum Collection A06. Next is blush, and I'm going to be using this Makeup Geek XOXO blush. Obviously, I want to stay very in the nude since I have such a bold eye, but I'm going to go in with this very gently just because I want some color back into my face. I feel like that looks a lot better. The next item is highlight, and this is the Kiko Milani Stick Highlighter in the shade golden crystals. I love this because it does bring a little bit of product in there. You can just like put this on wherever you want it and just blend it out and I absolutely love it. I love the formula of it. It's so soft and so creamy and it doesn't dry your skin out at all and it's also beautiful. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply this. So what I like to do is I just brush it like this where I want it. So you can see, look how pigmented that is. And then I just take my finger and blend it out. Lastly, I'm going to be going in into the shape Tempera. I am applying this on my brow bone just to give it a little bit of highlight. For mascara, I'm using this uh, Smashbox Super Fan, this little sample that I got. Then I'm going to be popping on some lashes and I'm using the Ardell 001 Magnetic Lashes. I've been testing this out lately and I'm kind of liking them. I kind of like the fact that you don't have to put like an insane amount of mascara and then pop lashes on that are super heavy. On my eyes particularly, I don't always like the look of lashes. So these look very, uh, I think in my opinion, very natural and that's why I love using them. So next I'm going to be using this lip liner by Kylie in the shade 22. And I'm going to be using this Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade Fighter. Lastly I'm going to be using this Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spray. Alright guys, so after like four hours, I finally did it. This is it. And I kind of really like it. I mean, I'm kind of digging like this edgy vibe to it, but it also has like that little glitter that's just like, you know, I'm still extra. Don't forget it. So this is it for this video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to enter the giveaway on my Instagram and subscribe below before you leave. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!